Hello everyone and welcome back to the Felix Smart Studio here in beautiful Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Today we're going to be working on the aquascaping styles and in this case we're going to be setting up a triangle style aquarium and talking a little bit about what makes that work. So let's get started. Now the triangle style layout in an aquascape is one of my favorite layouts of all. The way that it works is that you focus on one corner of the aquarium and essentially come out in a triangle shape, whether you come out in an ascending form, let's say from the bottom to the top of the other, or descending where you go more from the top to the bottom of the other side. Um, Triangle layouts are really great with longer aquariums um, because what it does is it opens up one half of the aquarium almost or more um, to just open space, which allows your fish to kind of swim freely while, while focusing on a really strong shape on the other side of the aquarium. So just to kind of explain that a little bit further, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down some aqua soil um, because the stones that we're gonna be using are gonna be lighter in color, uh, which is why I won't be using sand um, in this video. Let's see if this is enough. So when you're using aqua soil as your main substrate, you do wanna have, I would say at least one, one and a half to two inches of where you want planting. Um, otherwise it will be too shallow for roots to take hold. Um, and in this case, since we're doing a triangle aquarium, you also wanna bulk up the space where the triangle or the, the scape is gonna start. In this case, I'm gonna go from this corner out. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that this side is higher. All right, for our purposes right now, that's great. So for this one, I'll be using dragon stone and some driftwood. Now, I would say that dragonstone is probably one of the more common and available types of stones out there. Um, so again, I brought myself five or six pieces, which is probably what the average person would be able to buy. Um, and then about two to three pieces of driftwood as well. Okay? And so again, with the triangle shape that I'm looking for, I'm looking to go out in this angle. And I don't know yet if I want it more of like a descending or ascending. Um, one of the nice things is that you can do a lot with plants as well. So even if your hardscape was shaped more downwards, you could plant your plants so that they're more upwards and to a certain angle as well. And that could add some really nice contrast. But as always, we're just gonna grab our biggest or most interesting piece of stone and start with that. Now Dragonstone has a ton of texture, so it's actually quite versatile and easy to use. If you were using these um, for your aquascape, um, you do wanna make sure that these are glued down um, or fastened onto the rock somehow because these will 100% float. Um, so this particular spot I don't like. I find that it's too linear, not enough texture in it. So let's see if we can. Fix that a little bit. And you don't have to use all of your hardscape. Um, if you find that there's just a piece that doesn't work, then just don't use it, no big deal. For, with wood, what I like to do, these flat areas, I tried to avoid those having exposed. They just don't look super natural. Um, you would never have something too smooth like that in nature when it comes to wood anyways. Um, the jagged edges are much more natural, so. Now I'm also being conscientious that I do eventually would like to plant something here if I was setting this up for myself. So we'll see if this uses up too much room. So again, I'm not too worried about the wood touching the glass in the back because ideally this would be full of plants and you're not gonna be cleaning this part of the glass anyways. Um, for the most part, um, I'm more concerned about these spaces because that's where you're more likely to actually look through the tank. So you do want that glass to be, um, to have enough space to actually clean it. So I usually keep about the thickness of one finger between hardscape and where I want it to be clearly visible on the glass. 
So this is a really great example of where I think like it looks okay, but just something about it doesn't look great to me. So when you do get ready to set up your aquarium, I suggest you give yourself plenty of time when it comes to setting up hardscape. This is, to me, it's the, the funnest part of the whole project, uh, aside from planting, um, because you can kind of get your vision going. Um, so as long as you give yourself time to do this and move things around, um, you know, maybe just let it sit overnight, come back to it the next day, take a peek at it, um, and just really make it as fun as possible. You know, throw some music on, um, make it almost kind of like an artistic experience, and you can definitely enjoy your aquarium a lot more than if you were to just chuck it in and just let it go. So, yeah, something on it is not quite right. There have been times too where I just can't figure it out, so I like start over. <laughs> for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna be starting over, but um, if this was something I was setting up for myself, that's definitely worth doing as well. There's nothing that you're not committed to anything at this point, right? So I, I do like where this wood is. Um, I'm okay with this one. I kind of want something contrasting though, because I feel like everything is too much in that direction. So that's why I was hoping this would work out, but this right here doesn't, so. Yeah, so I like this a whole lot more. Um, in particular, so when I'm working with a triangle layout, the thing that I'm thinking about is, it's just kind of like where my directions are going. Now, the rocks are obviously pointing in this direction. Um, the wood is pointing in this direction, including this one. But you notice that this one here is facing the other way, almost like contrasting. However, it's still in line with a triangle. Um, and that happened completely naturally on its own. Um, but when I look at it, it's more pleasing for whatever reason. And I think it's because of those shapes that we were just talking about. So this is actually quite nice. What I would probably end up doing um, at this point, like when it comes to planting, I would have maybe like a big Java fern here with some broad leaves coming out to kind of help extenuate you know, these points. Um, something up here, maybe like a lot of uh, Anubius plants um, and then some stems in the back throughout here to give it a lot of fullness. Um, and then a carpet of Monte Carlo or even hair grass or a combination of both, which is what I prefer to do throughout here with some other different plants, maybe like Cryptarva um, or just other smaller plants as well. Um, but that's kind of the th thought process when doing a setup. Now, um, if all this is just <laughs> when you're trying to set up, don't even worry about it. Just put stuff in. You'll notice that your eyes will be drawn to certain shapes, certain corners, certain um, alignments of the wood. Um, you'll notice that when we had this flip the other way, it was really hard lines. It just didn't look good. Um, it didn't look natural. So um, flipping it was just an option to do it. And then sure enough, it looks a lot better now. So yeah, I would actually probably just Leave it like this, and this would be a great aquarium to get started. You have your soil in, you could just flood it and plant it, maybe add a bit more soil, because we probably want it up to another half inch or so, just to get those plants really well rooted. Um, another thing that you can do is you take a picture of your layout, and you can easily take this apart, try something else, take a picture of that, and then just see what you like more, right? Um, so for example, I would probably take a picture, take it out, add more soil so it's much higher, um, and place it back in, and the best, you know, in the most uh, alike space possible. All right, so here's our triangle aquascape layout. Um, as always, don't forget to leave a comment below if you've set up a triangle layout before or maybe what your favorite style of layout is. And also don't forget to like and follow and we'll see you on the next video.